The idea of unionizing a farm and bringing in minimum wage and hours per week is an idea so stupid it shows a total disconnect with agriculture. But that's what happens when NDP mercenaries from the big city try to tell farmers how to farm. It would be like appointing a national fisheries minister from Saskatoon or something. But look, this war on oil and this war on farms is actually part of the same thing. It's the NDP's war on Alberta's culture as the freest, most entrepreneurial, least unionized, least subsidized, least regulated province in Canada. There was no problem with the oil patch. There was no problem with farming. The problem, in the mind of the NDP, is the oil patch itself, or are the farms themselves. Once upon a time, the NDP in Canada was about working men and women, guys with hard hats. The NDP came from the CCF party, the Farmers Party, way back in the day, no longer. Today, the NDP is the party of the University Faculty Lounge, the party of government civil servants. They're the party of unions, but not even the kind of union members who work in things like pipelines or ports. No, no, no real work, no outdoors work, no hard work. Today, the NDP is the party of white-collar fake unions, government unions, who workers live off the avails of taxpayers. Thousands of unionized workers have actually lost their jobs in Alberta this year in the oil patch. The NDP doesn't care about those workers. But not a single government worker has lost their job in the Alberta government. Not one. Rachel Notley cannot find a single government worker that she thinks oppressed taxpayers can do without.